Happy Youth Wednesday, everyone. Glad to see you this week. Glad to be back. Miss seeing you. Look forward to being back together soon. I want to update you on the prize count. The previous two weeks, I've had challenges uh, for someone who could guess where I am in the church. The first prize was Ford Evans. Ford won a $10 gift certificate to Chick-fil-A. Last week, Katie Mason won the same uh, prize. Uh, it was a little bit more this time. I tried to up at $5. Katie Mason won the prize too, a $15 gift card to Chick-fil-A. Today, we're playing for a Starbucks gift card. It's a $15 gift card. Uh, the first person, I'm going to do a little differently today. The first person who can tell me the secret color that I'm going to mention, clearly mention in the video this week, will receive a $15 gift card uh, to Chick-fil-A. So be watching for that. You'll never know when it's going to show up. So you will be required to watch the entire video. Mission trip update. Um, I called Hinton today. They are still moving forward. Uh, I have concerns still uh, just about the logistics of how we're going to get everything done in preparation, especially for the first trip. However, uh, I think the, the thing that's most important is what the governor is going to recommend on Friday. And so we'll see what that, and I should have a definitive answer about the mission trips, uh, you know, how we're going to proceed. Graduation Sunday, uh, because things haven't been opened up uh, yet, and they probably will not fully open up for church until into June for sure, our whole entire graduation Sunday is going to be virtual, so everybody will have to participate by watching Facebook Live, and as such, we won't have a luncheon either. So uh, so let's go to uh, my message this week. Last week, if you remember, I talked about uh, financial uh, keys to financial success. They were simple rules and philosophies that I've always followed, and uh, certainly uh, uh, I didn't figure them out. They're, they're just basic common sense, but to, to be intentional about them really helps you uh, do well with your money. Today, uh, another, uh, this is another simple focus that I've had, especially with seniors, uh, but it's Academic Success 101. So here's my minimum standards, minimum standards for academic success in college, high school, really anywhere. And the number one, I've got one, two, three, four rules, I believe, four keys. So number one is go to class under no circumstances. I repeat, under no circumstances should you miss a class in high school or college. Do not miss class. 1A, not just missing class, don't miss class. Pay attention when you are in the classroom. Pay attention to what's going on from your professor. Take notes. That's one C. That goes along with pay attention. And it also goes along with being in class. Go to class, pay attention, and take notes. And one D is talk with your professor. Go talk to your professor. Not BS. Go talk to him, go engage with him, show interest, show effort, and he is going to help you. She is going to help you. I guarantee if you show interest, your professor, your teacher is going to be delighted with you. Rule number two, or key number two, after class, on the same day that you go to class, rewrite your notes. Rewrite your notes. Organize, set them up. You're scribbling, you're struggling, you're hustling in class to get everything down because you're paying attention and you're taking notes and you're listening to the professor. After class, go that day, not the next day or a week later, after class on the same day, go in, rewrite your notes and organize them. It will benefit you so much at the end as you start to build uh, you know, through, throughout the semester. Rewrite your notes. That's really important. Don't just look at them again. I'm saying physically with your hand, rewrite your notes. Uh, uh, and last is of the rules, basically, the keys, is read as much as you can. Read, uh, read the highlights. Read the bold things. 
and read as much as you can. And the last thing, very last thing, if I didn't mention it before, is go to class. Do not miss class under any circumstance. You are responsible for your own education, especially in college. It is a requirement that you show up and be responsible and go to class. That is, uh, of all the things I said, half of it, Half of everything I said is just being present in the classroom and doing what you're supposed to do there. Not, not talking about any additional study. I'm just saying half of everything you need to do, at least, is just taking place in the classroom setting, which requires you to be present. The basic rule, the basic rule that undergirds all this is that for every one hour in class that you have, for every one hour in class that you have, you spend two hours outside of class, rewriting your notes, working on assignments, and reading, and practicing. So again, I know it's obvious that, that that's something you should do, and, but I didn't, I've never had, I never got it broken down to me like that in such a simple format. Go to class, take notes, pay attention to the professor, rewrite your notes, and then work uh, on, which part of the two hours outside of class is rewriting the notes. So rewrite the notes, get them in order, read, do your assignments. If you do that as you go, by the end of the semester, I'm, I'm almost willing to guarantee, guarantee if you commit to that, that you're going to get at least a B. You're going to get at least a B in your class if you commit to that. Again, I can't speak to everybody's individual intellect, but you got to commit you you got to be responsible, and you got to commit. Uh, I'm embarrassed to say that I didn't spend enough time doing these rules when I was in school, and as a result, I didn't learn as much as I could have, and I wish I could have. I had a fantastic uh, education at the University of North Carolina, and it would have been so much uh, more full for me if I would have done this more than I did. Anyway, I love you guys. I'm looking forward to being uh, with you uh, as soon as we can. But we're going to have to follow the procedures that are going to be outlined. And uh, I just look forward to the time we're back together. I love you again. Amen. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.